Let's begin with some alarming news about airport security in this country. Despite the heightened security in the 10 years since 9-11, this nation's air transportation system continues to suffer a disturbing number of security breaches. One congressman who leads a hearing this morning in Washington calls the TSA, quote, a real mess. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill with more. Nancy, good morning. Chris, good morning to you. Yes, those figures come from Homeland Security documents that are going to be released in full at this hearing that's being held on Capitol Hill later today. And they reveal a wide array of security letdowns at the nation's airports. Take, for instance, last Friday's incident when a stun gun was found on a JetBlue plane that landed in Newark, New Jersey. That is so surprising in today's day and age that post 9-11 that that could happen. Right. I mean, how could that, ha how? How is the question. Just how does a stun gun get on a plane? Or how did a man stow away on a Virgin American flight from New York last month after getting through three layers of security without a valid boarding pass or identification? Homeland Security documents show there have been more than 25,000 security breaches at U.S. airports since November 2001. That's an average of seven a day. More than 6,000 passengers have made it past security without being properly screened. And 14,000 passengers entered limited access areas without permission. Like this man who walked the wrong way through security at Newark's Liberty Airport in January of 2010. Now, the TSA points out that these breaches represent just a tiny fraction of the 5.5 billion people who have been screened in this country since November of 2001, and they insist that most of these incidents did not pose a security threat. Chris? Amazing when you hear the numbers. I mean, it's tough to get a bottle of water through TSA these days. Nancy, what are, what are lawmakers looking to accomplish, though, with these hearings? Well, essentially, they want to know if we've gotten our money's worth for all the money that we've spent increasing airport security since 9-11. They want to know if we have the right priorities. Are we uh, screening bags at the expense of screening passengers properly? So they really want to see what the vulnerabilities are and what can be done to fix them. All right. CBS's Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill for us this morning. Nancy, thank you.